Saturday practice. It's the Saturday before NCA, and um, we all showed up, and we're like, where's Sam and Malia? And we found out that both of them got in a car accident. We didn't know any other information. We didn't know if like they were okay, where they were, if they were still like on the side of the road. So we were all just worried. Don't know how they're doing. Don't know if they're safe. Don't know if they're okay. Hopefully they are, because we need them. It was bad. It wasn't like, like a fender bender or anything, which is really scary. We love them and cherish them dearly. Kind of worried, because we are out a week out from NCA, and just hoping they're okay. Hopefully they show up. Go, and one, two, three, Come on, guys, four, you got five. it! Again, we missed one already. Five. Get your legs together after that. Does that make sense? Like, let's let's move on with our lives. Here we go. Yeah. Come on, guys, you got it. We haven't been able to practice in a week because I had pink eye and the flu, so I was out on Wednesday, and we had practice canceled on Monday. Yeah. So it's been a little bit of a struggle to get our group together and get more repetition in. Yeah, it's been a minute since any of us have done full outs, like our group yeah, at least. It's been about a week since Over we've done full outs. I'm a little worried, but I know that, I, I mean, I trust her group a lot, that I know that even if the first time that she's able to start is, say, in Dallas, I know we got it, and I'm feeling yeah. us, but that's a little, it's a little nerve wracking. Yeah. Alright, do me a favor. Valentine is uh, Grab water. And I know some of us are cold. We haven't tumbled or done anything in a while. You're not Get warm. And let's get done. Let's get our first pull out done. Yes. Lexi and like their, her car pulled past them, so they said they was pretty bad, and they were thinking about stopping because they thought it was Sam's car, but didn't know. And Lexi wasn't like in control of the car to like stop, so she couldn't. And Tamia was like, I'm like really close friends with Tamia, and she talked about her car accident and how she was like really lucky to live. So I was kind of just like, what is happening right now? It could be like just a, like a little bit of something. It could have been like. They're injured everywhere. In January, I got into a car accident and I broke my orbital socket and I tore ligaments in my thumb and um, I my legs just got cut up. Um, I We were going down like a windy road and in Temecula and wine country. And so like we hit the gravel, we started like spinning out and then we hit a tree. We went up the tree like 30 feet and then came down on our on the roof. And in the impact of us hitting the tree, I smashed my like forehead on the center console and I like shattered the center console. So it was just a really long recovery and I didn't think I was gonna be able to cheer, like be ready to cheer this year because I had a concussion for like two months and like I couldn't do schoolwork like so I was afraid I wasn't gonna graduate either, so that was another thing that was stressful. And so I'm just surprised that I still can cheer. Are we ready? I think more than anything, like, Eddie's already stressed, like, he's at the hospital with Sam now, like, Malia and Sam are both in the hospital, so, like, what would help Eddie is just knowing that we're all okay, you know, like, and doing us, our yeah, yeah, doing our jobs, and, like, you know, like, He's more focused on us right now just to get out of his head like anything bad that's happened today. So like the most important thing right now is being able to send him a good video. Yeah. Being able to show like, yes, we're okay. Like go focus on other things. Okay, let's do it for Sam, Lee, and Eddie, please. If you can't hit for your own teammates who are in the hospital right now, like yeah. we gotta reevaluate. Yeah. They're allowed to hit proud. Family on three, ready? One, two, three, family! Go! practice just because like our full start is incomplete and uh, everyone is just kind of hoping that they're okay and I hope they're hoping that the rest of our practice goes well. I feel like since NCA is so close there is some pressure just because you know NCA is a really big competition. That pyramid has to be done again. Your emotions to go because you're tired or whatever it is. Okay I saw one tumbling bus. Was there anybody more? Any more? Should we just do a walk of shame? Yeah. Alright listen encourage each other. Let's go. We are good. 
If you fell on the scale, do it. Yeah. It's just hard showing up to practice and hearing that our teammates got in a car crash. So we're trying to push through practice right now without them. But it's a little odd. It's a little off. Go ahead. Go ahead. up. Get these up. Come on, you got it. With my partner son, um, it's been kind of back and forth. Like at first, I didn't even know how to partner son when I got here. But after learning it, um, it was going pretty good at first, and then it started to like go downhill a little bit. There's no reason for all these to be falling. Like they're they're, they're landing in your hands. This is good done. How many did we hit? All of them? Good line. No. Okay, spot that here. We go. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever, listen, whatever you're doing that's helping you, maybe give them some pointers. <laughs> Our stunt has been pretty inconsistent, but we've been working on it. I have full confidence that we're going to be able to hit, but it's just a matter of getting these reps in. It wasn't doing the greatest. We weren't hitting all the time and it just wasn't consistent. Especially since we have NCI, I really have no choice but to make it good. Partner sense of falling. We're gonna have partner sense of pump springs or not. Yeah, yeah. It's not hitting. Your arm's still bent. What? Or are your arms bent and her toes are rolling off the front. Like it's not like a hit and then dip pop. Okay, is that point off? That's a fall. Yeah, that's a whole point off. It's a whole point deduction. That means we lose. Everything. That means you wasted a whole year in California because of you. Okay, cool. It's either me or we have one partner center, that's it. So, yeah. That's really the only part I'm nervous about. I, like, I'm just gonna fight to keep it up and, yeah, do as much as I can. Just go into this routine with confidence, like knowing yeah. that you're gonna do all your skills. Because we all know that we can do everything in this routine, so like, let's just go do it. Say it loud, say it proud. Smelly on three, ready, one, two, three, smelly! Come back. Sam's our best tumbler, Malia's our center flyer, like they're irreplaceable people and just going into NCA like already with that stress, like it's a lot. So we're trying to push through, just prayers and good vibes are being sent to Malia and Sam. Hey girl. Hey Divine. How are you? Are you hurting anywhere? Yeah. I just feel a little bracelet. I just wanted to do the bracelet. Oh, I should have this thing up. Who's that? It's my homie. Crafty? Yeah. So I picked up Malia up from Santa Clarita, and we were on our way to practice, and there was a small period of time where it was raining, but it was raining super heavy. And um, I had merged into the fast lane, and I just looked up, and I saw a huge puddle in front of me. And I just told Malia, I was like, hey, we're, just, we're about to hide your plane, just get ready because I just knew it. So um, I just took my foot off the gas and just kept trying to keep my wheel straight and I felt my tail go to the right and it went to the left and then kind of just took off to the, to the right that way. And that's when we got T-bone. Like right when it happened, I kind of just looked over at Malia and I, kinda, I had a shortage of breath because I just hit my side. So I was just like asking her if she was okay, but like I couldn't get the words out. She was like, yeah, just holding her head. And that was kind of it. I was just trying to see how she was doing. I spoke to Sam, he had told me that they had just taken Malia to the hospital. So that's when I really freaked out and went into daddy mode. He lives almost two hours away, so his mom could not get to him anytime soon. So I felt like it was important for me to be there for my kids. 
and make sure that they're okay. Cheerleading is cheerleading, and cheerleading is always gonna be there. The rest of the kids had practice, but when you get a call like that and it's your athletes, it is, it puts things in perspective real fast. That's my little sister and I want to protect her at all costs, but like, and I'm kind of sad it went down like that. Cause a couple more inches, that could have been her door. It was not on my side, it was on her side. And that could have been her. I've never heard Sam quiver in his voice like that. He's like one of the strongest males on our team, just mentally and he's a silent leader and you know, our strongest tumbler and to hear him in that state and just so scared and the hydroplane, they got hit, a window exploded. He wasn't mindful of the rain or whatever the conditions were and you know he put himself in a position where it, it could have been really scary and it could have ended not ended well <laughs> oh my god very dramatic yes <laughs> I felt super guilty. I felt super guilty because I'm the one driving. I'm supposed to have control of the car. Even though hydroplane, like, that's my little sister. I should have been protecting her. Here I was just 10 minutes ago when I got a text message that they weren't coming to practice. I was annoyed and I, I, you know, I feel guilt because of that now, but I was so annoyed that two athletes were gonna miss practice the Sunday before NCA. And then when I'm told that one of my athletes is being taken in an ambulance, ugh. That was scary. As a dad, it just, you know, you look at your kid and just, you see nothing but innocence and, you know, a version of you. And, you know, to, to see like Levi's face in Sam and Malia when things like this happen, it, it's scary because that couldn't one day be my kid. And I had to put myself in a position where if I were, if this did happen to Le Levi, how, how, how would I want him to be taken care of? <sighs> You know, Smoed has always been, those are my kids. This is scary. But anyway, that's it. Luckily, they're okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go, kids. Let's go, y'all. Let's go, boys. 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 Let's You are enough for this team, I promise you. For our kids, getting ready for NCA to hear that two of their athletes are, you know, going to the hospital, I can't imagine how that messed with them. Hey. Uh, I do oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Um, it's okay. She, uh, I think she just got out of hospital. Are you? Oh, uh, like, out for season? Yeah. No. I gotta come back to tomorrow. I told him I was okay, but Eddie picked me up and he insisted on me going to the hospital just in case. They did a couple x rays, they said I was okay. And then um, <laughs> we went to Chick fil A and then we came back to practice. And then we just watched practice. I asked him if I could lace up and he was like, no, not today. Malia was taken to the hospital. Andrea ran to her. I took care of Sam. You know, luckily he had a uh, minor bruising, but it was it was scary. Hey, will you go talk to them? Just to build them up a little bit. Yeah. No matter what it is, fight for your dreams. You guys have Sasha. Sasha. Do this. Okay. I'm good. Y'all want to go? Yeah. Ready? 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 I don't know, I came over here to tell you guys, just like, don't be tired, like, <clears throat> you guys know why you're here. You don't know when you're not gonna be here. Like, think about it. Yeah, this is your last year, this is your last year, this is your last year. Literally, it could be anybody's last year. Last year, last week, last competition. You never know. So every time you're in this gym, go hard, go crazy. Okay. Let's go, y'all. Don't take any setting up for granted. Well, I just didn't know what was going to happen after, like, 
this is a big part of my life, and if I can't get up here, what am I gonna do? I just was scared for my position in life. Can you come right here, man? Wow, mommy, you're so here. It's just been a part of my life for so long, since I was seven, and it's been consistent every single year, and just growing, and it's helped me out so much. Like, I could have been stuck in Bakersfield doing who knows what. Like, this is a huge distraction for me from the outside world. Like, this is a safe place for me. <laughs> That's crazy. What? Wait, what? What? I just want to lace up. A lot of it was I wanted to get it off my mind and um, realizing it now, like, I get it. But at the time, like, they still had two full outs left and I felt like I could give them more, so. <laughs> So my first competition coming back is going to be NCA. Um, it's a lot of stress. I just found out recently that we're not eligible at NCA. International teams cannot get a full paid bid. The fact that we found out we couldn't get it at NCA is kind of like heartbreaking for us because we wanted to like push at the next um, competition. We can have the two best routines of our lives. We will never get that paid bid there. I won't ever understand why, but it's not for me to understand. The rules are the rules and we just have to follow them and they're just not eligible for that. <laughs> 